Okay, Charlie Levine here, Power Motor Yacht, Executive Editor. We are at Marine Max in Pompano Beach, Florida. We just ran the new 28 Aquila Molokai Catamaran Center Console. Uh, this is the first center console that Aquila has come out with since they've been building catamarans for about the last decade. And this boat is a very impressive riding boat. We were, this was the kind of testing grounds that we looked for, you know, as we headed out um, Hillsborough Inlet, it was a solid four to six foot seas. This boat was running very comfortably, 20 to 25 to 30 miles an hour into the head sea. It did great in the quartering sea. Uh, in, even in the following sea, there was very little bow surfing or any of that. Very impressed how she ran with the twin 200 Mercuries. We did, uh, in the ICW, we did our speed test and we saw up to 46 miles an hour when we were going with the current. Um, and it, it jumps up on plane at a really low speed. It's just, uh, it seems really like efficient, soft riding boat. It was just impressive. And it's got some really cool fishing features, which is again, all new for Aquila. So I'm gonna show some of the things that they've done on this boat. And I think it's gonna be a big hit for them. Let's go take a look. All right, so starting out in the stern, as, you, as I said, it's got twin 200 Mercs. Being a catamaran, there's a lot of room in between the motors, which helps it you know, maneuver. It spins great. They did put some rod holders back here. There's quite a bit of rod storage, which I don't think you'll see on many other Aquilas. Um, this little divider, this slides up if you want to access, and there's a ladder. There's a ladder that goes in between the motors for the swim step there. And the way it runs, it gets air underneath the deck in between the sponsons and it really lands soft. Um, here you see the back of the consoles rigged up for fishing. Uh, you've got some trays he in here, a full live well here. Uh, there's a little sink in here. I do like how much access the Kila gives you with these boats. Um, under this hatch you have access to your pumps and your through holes, all of that. Uh, simple, lots of room. And look at the access to the fuel tanks. I mean, they are right here, so you can check those quite easily. And uh, it does have two aft seats back here that open up. Basically lift this up and these come out. It's hard with one hand. So, you know, those seats go right there in the corners. Lots of storage in these sponsons. Uh, each side has a fish box, insulated fish box, large fish box. And then there's more storage up there. And if you could see, it extends way forward so you can get rods in there uh, nice and safe. There's also more rod storage back here. There's one, two, three, four rod holders down the gunnel. And you've got rod holder up there, rocket launchers. I also like the use of the LED lights on the over, on the hard top there, working lights. This boat's rigged up with a fusion stereo system. Cup holders, the visibility is really nice on this boat. So moving up to the helm, um, there's, this one is access, I believe. Okay, so here's some fishing trays. There's more on the other side. This is an access panel. You need to get to the batteries. The helm is very comfortable. Uh, it's a nice vinyl leather material. And it's got, you know, it's just comfortable. It's got room for two twin screens. Uh, this boat is rigged up with a 12 inch Raymarine MFD. Um, just awesome visibility. I mean, you can see the bow, no problem. Now the windshield too, if you notice, there's a bit of a gap up there in the top of the windshield, which lets air in. And we were in some wet seas. We were taking some, some spray and we never really got wet. So that was nice. This is uh, access to your radar and stuff up there. Um, just, you know, simple, great layout. Got your mercury controls. This 
switches are right in front of the captain. Uh, a couple more over on the passenger side. This is a nice little dash. Stash your, and there's actually a USB, uh, USB plug-in, charge your phone in there, keep it out of the elements. So moving forward, uh, this particular model has these seats mounted on either side. These are options, and these are also draining, insulated coolers. So you could use them for fish storage. The, the cushions fold really nice. They kind of come out. Oh, well, it did. Uh, more storage under here. There's a table that you could mount in there. Um, anchor, anchor locker, some additional room for extra road. But one thing I like about this is you can use this space up forward as a casting platform. So if you had an angler up here throwing a cast net or you know just casting to maybe some sight sight casting to feeding fish there's plenty of room to step on up here and these hatches are all compression hatches so it being a new boat they can be a little a little tough to get shut there we go well here let's step up so i mean up here give you a quick look at the the console it's a clean boat and again i think uh my favorite part about it is just the way the boat rides it just rode incredibly well it's comfortable lots of room for fishing or diving there is a little little porto in here that opens up nice and easy so inside the console you do have a small porto head Plenty of room for storage. That is the table that mounts um, on the bow. And here's the ladder for the swim step. And, you know, real easy access to any of your wiring, some room for your flares and things like that. Uh, just simple, well laid out, and again, awesome boat to drive. Yeah, so there you have it. This is the 28 Molokai from Aquila Center Console. They're mixing it up, and it's going to be a great fishing boat, great family boat, just a great boat to go out and play around on. I think it's going to be a big hit. We certainly enjoyed it. It was impressive in those seas. So stay tuned to pmymag.com for more information, and we'll see you out on the water.